grocery center downtown. <laughs> That laugh has left us, but the trickle-down effects of this life will be told for generations because of how well and long and historically significant it was. When kids ask parents, who's that library, that train station, that hospital named after? This is what they'll tell them. Louis Stokes was born into Cleveland's east side in 1925. He and his brother Carl were raised by their mother Louise, who became a widow when Lou was five. The two went to Cleveland Central High School before joining the U.S. Army. It was World War II. He told Russ Mitchell a few years back that in a segregated army in 1943, prisoners of war were treated better than black soldiers. It helped me make up my mind that I had to get an education because uh, I had to fight this type of thing in my country and, and I just knew I could not fight it without an education. The GI Bill paid for that education and Uncle Sam's investment in this Clevelander proved an exceptional bet. But before turning to public service, this soldier turned litigator found a home in the courtroom. I just never thought of, of uh, political office and that. I, uh, I knew my forte was in that courtroom. That, I was comfortable there. But as the 60s were ending, the Stokes brothers began using civil rights victories to forge new, historical, but not always comfortable paths. Carl would go on to become the first black mayor of Cleveland. No major U.S. city had ever seen that. A few years later, his older brother would run for Congress. In his very first run... 75% of the vote you had in that general election. It was a good vote. <laughs> that laugh again. That good vote would happen again and again and again, 30 years, 15 terms in Congress. It was that Cleveland upbringing and blue-collar work ethic from his mom that drove his time making law. She believed in hard work and she believed in excellence in whatever you do and um, she believed in what she used to say to us, be somebody. And. Um, those are things that, that I think inspired uh, my brother Carl and I. While streets and structures were named after Carl and he, Mother Louise, arguably the mother of all politicians around here, has a Shaker Heights post office named in her honor. Her last living son has now left us. He was 90. He was beloved. A politician that lived scandal-free, quick with a smile, long with historical attributes. Lou Stokes retired from Congress in 99, from his legal career in 2012. He'll live forever, though, in the minds of Clevelanders who look for hope, wisdom, and warmth in the people they elect to represent Cleveland to the world. I am optimistic. It'll get better when the people take those people who are the obstructionists out of the Congress with understanding that I'm sending you to Washington to represent people and to do good for the people.